I was just like, oh, I have to have it. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. This piece is so you. I saw it and I was like, have to have it. From renter's insurance to rewards credit cards, State Farm oh. is here to help life go right. So, hey guys. So before we start, let me just tell you guys that we are going to be watching some videos from the most recent draft that just happened yesterday. This is from round one. In the future, I'm going to be reacting to round two and three of the draft, and that'll probably be it because those are the most important rounds, two and three. So we're going to be reacting some to some videos that I can find from the NFL draft of this year just happening yesterday so only round one draft videos i will be looking at and the first one is okay okay i should move this definitely most emotional moments round one 2017 nfl draft so let's get right into it by the way i do know the nfl so i did nfl predictions last year so fuck it and my raiders hat right here Oh, yay. Miles Garrett is so good. He's from Texas A&M. Wow. And he's smiling about that. He wants to be a Browns. Look at, look at that face. He wants to be a Browns player. Straight up, he wants to be a Browns player. All right? I think that's something we can all agree with. He wants to be a Browns player. So, yeah, uh, so, uh, congrats for you, buddy. You're going to be playing in the worst team in the NFL. Uh, and also, also, Frick, I forgot what I was going to say. Don't embarrass yourself, Ethan. Just continue. Thing is, they got pick number one. They got pick number one, but they chose, but they chose Miles Garrett. How is Miles Garrett the best player you can get? How? Tell me one reason in the comments below. Oh yeah, here's what I was gonna say before. Everyone hates Roger Goodell, so you'll probably hear lots and lots of boos within this draft. Out of Texas A&M. The Chicago Bears select Mitchell Trubisky. Oh, yeah, Mitchell Trub Trub Trubisky, the guy who likes to shake in the freaking ACC championship game. Remember, two years ago, they played Clemson, North Carolina did, in the ACC championship. Dude, they, they almost won, but the guy, Mitch Trubisky, they called him Mitch, but he's Mitchell Trubisky. He was shaking so much during the damn game as as quarterback, man. Now he's going to be playing for the Chicago. They actually have a bad quarterback situation in Chicago. Like, last year it was Denver with uh, freaking Peyton Manning being gone. That's why I only predicted them to be 8-8. Eight eight. They did one they did one game better than I predicted. And a lot of them and a lot of people predicted the Broncos to be 10 and 6 or higher. And I said no more than 10 and 6. Somewhere between 8-8 eight and, eight and 10 and 6. And this year I think they might do better. I don't know. Look, and so many people are disappointed about that. That's how badly they hate him. Solomon Thomas, defensive end, Stanford. How satisfied are you right now? Man, I'm very excited, man. Uh, my journey, man, is coming when I come. Oh, wow, Leonard Fournette's going to Jacksonville. He was probably the one of the best running backs in college football, if not the best. Corey Davis from Western Michigan. I have no clue. I think I know who he is. He, I think he helped them get uh twelve, thirteen and zero, and then lose the last game. That Western Michigan only lost one, one game the whole season that last season, and that was the final game against Wisconsin, where I think they lost by like two or three touchdowns. That, but I don't think they were too far off from 
beating Wisconsin. Like, they didn't do actually that bad. By the way, if you want me to do college football predictions for 2017-2018 season, let me know in the comments below. If I don't get any comments, then I probably won't do it. But NFL predictions are guaranteed. I'm just not going to do it yet until May or June because that's always the best time to predict it. So let's go right back into the video. Yeah, the music. Actually, I have no clue who he is. So, yeah. Mike Williams from Clemson. He's pretty good. Now, I was the pick that pissed me off right there. Christian McCaffrey. I wanted the Raiders to get him. I wanted the Raiders to fucking get Christian McCaffrey. You know where he went? Shitty Carolina. No, he'd, he'd probably rather be playing in Oakland or somewhere because that's where his college was. So why not play at your college, bro? Oh, yeah, he doesn't get the fucking choice. The Cincinnati Bengals select John Ross. Oh. John Ross was a pretty good receiver for Washington as well. He's a good receiver. Why would you pick Patrick Mahomes? I would hope he's the backup because Alex Smith isn't a bad quarterback. Why would you need a new one? Unless your old one, unless your old backup retired. The Kansas City Chiefs select Patrick Mahomes, the second quarterback. Marshawn Lattimore, defensive back. Now that boy played for my favorite college, Ohio State University. That guy's a hell yeah. I saw that in the, uh, I saw that on NFL Network that he got drafted to New Orleans pick 11 round one. Deshaun Watson, quarterback, Clemson. Wow, and, and, and what you would have thought, I, I, I hate the Texans now. I think I'm going to hate the Texans more than ever since they have Deshaun Watson. He gets to play for the Texans. I feel so bad for him now. He plays for a team I hate. So I I hated Deshaun Watson when he played for Clemson. I hate you now, buddy. Okay, Malik Hooker, one of my favorite defensive players, is going to the Colts. All right, he can have him. Ravens select Marlon Humphrey, defensive back from Alabama. Okay, Alabama has pretty good players. Tennessee gets to pick twice in the same round. That's sad. Never mind, I don't know. Adore Jackson, who do you play for? OJ Howard. OJ Howard gets to play for the Buccaneers as well? What the hell? Oh, Garrett Bowles from Utah. I don't know who he is, but he's, he's going to play for the Broncos. I don't He's not a quarterback, okay. Evan Ingram, I think I've heard of him before. Oh, wow, wow. Look. Some of these Browns fans wear bag bags on their head because of how disappointed they are of their brownies. And that, what's Jabril Peppers gonna do? He played for Michigan. I mean, he was a pretty good defensive court player. We'll just see this NFL season how many wins you get. Because one player is not gonna make one player is not gonna make your goddamn team. Man, I feel bad for the Steelers fans, including my dad. 
Because my dad's a Steelers fan. I like the Steelers, too. Respect for Dan Rooney, man. He helped the team win so many games and so many. He helped them win at least two or three Super Bowls. I mean, he took over after Art Rooney died, and now he's dead. So I wonder if he's going to pass it down to his family or what. Who's going to get down to the Steelers now? Let's find out. He died just like Al Davis died, but sadly, Mark Davis isn't dead yet. Which I think is one thing we all hope happens one day. Well, actually, it's not good to hope people die. But still, it's a thing everyone wants to happen. Now, I want to see how triggered TJ Watt is from that. How he, how he... How he doesn't get to play with his brother. He has to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, I actually support the Steelers. Just like I do the Raiders. But I support the Raiders a bit more. Because you know, that that's my team. Sadly, they didn't get on here. Because Gary... We got Gary on Conley. So, apparently he wasn't a big deal. TJ Watt now is probably triggered. Since he doesn't get to play for the Texans as well. The New Orleans Saints select Ryan Ramchek, tackle, Wisconsin. All right. All right. So there you he go. played with T.J. Watt. And that's it. That is it for that one. Ooh, Raiders take risk by selecting Gary Conley. A mid-rape accusation. Oh, great. We get a racist on our team. How, how, do, you, how do all those Raiders fans feel about that? Getting a rapist on his team, on our team. Albert, are you surprised at all that Conley with the... Now, he's, now he plays for my favorite... For, he's also an OSU player, which is what I like. This is probably the first OSU player we got, the Raiders got, since 2013. When they picked up Terrell Pryor, and they only kept him for like a year or two. I don't know if it was, out to, if it was 2012 or 2013 when they got him. They got him... Around then, Terrell oh, Pryor. Sort of lingering in the air and the ether and hanging yeah. over his head that he was taken. I am. Oh, Gary on Conley was good. A lot of the research that he was just as good as Malik Hooker was. Was showing that maybe he was innocent of what he was being charged. And, 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 and there was a the question is, is he gonna replace freaking Charles Woodson? Probably not. Breaking There's a point. video out there now. Okay. Yeah, this, this is important. Yeah. Here. Because this was something that was kind of, you know, talked about with his people. Just wait for this video to come out. There's a credibility issue right. here with the girl because she said that they were in the elevator. He that's picked, where they met. He picked her up in the elevator, basically, right? Yes. And he said that's not how it happened at all. It happened at the bar. The video showed them. At the are they talking about his rape allegations? I think that's exactly what they're talking the bar. about. There are little things here that have kind of piled up that that have kind of at least made it look like it made it look like maybe he's innocent. Okay, and be careful there though, because just about where they met. No, 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 no. Right. No, we don't no. want to. But, 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 but what happened potentially but, happened in the hotel? You're still using a first round pick, pick on a guy. There, there's but a cloud over that. You add that. You add that. Okay, so so you add that part of it to what his background was, and his background was clean, Right. okay? There was one team, okay, there was one team that in five days of combine interviews said that he was the best interview. By the way, Bud talking right there, I can barely see your face because of my webcam. And I'm not going to shrink it either, Bud, so deal with me not seeing you. Be Off triggered. the charts, football IQ. I talked to people at Ohio State the other night, they said that this was the last person. I will be right back, guys. So, yeah, guys, I don't know if you realize, I took off my Raiders hat because it got annoying, and I also had to go to the restroom. That's why the video got paused, and this video I'm reacting to as well, but let's finish it up. In this year's draft from Ohio State, that they would expect to be involved in something like this, and so that doesn't mean he's innocent. Look, we never saw Ray Rice coming. Right. No one saw Darren Sharper coming, so it's not impossible he's involved in something like this. And if look, the, if he, if, 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 are you less triggered now since we get to see your face? Less triggered. Thank God. The Raiders just. But take. but but look, if they if they didn't here's if they did not know if they do not have some information that exonerates him. 
they're crazy for doing this right now. You would think they have some sort of piece of information that makes them feel like yes, he's exonerated in this deal. Because otherwise, why on earth would you use a first-round pick? Okay, so I'm I'm just going to do this right now. Thank, thank you guys for watching this video. And put in the comments below if you think Gary on Conley is a rapist. Or if he's not, if you think he's a rapist, give it a like. Well, no, give it a dislike because he's from my favorite team. So give, well, no. Why would I ask for a fuck? Just put a comment below saying whether or not you think he's a rapist or not. Say in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.